are millions of dollars still available in state funds to help you with your energy costs, but there are also things you can do right now. Simple tips to help you save a bundle on your bills. As the pandemic keeps you in your home, energy costs could surge. Jeremy Bryant from the nonprofit energy savings group Elevate Energy is showing the I team several energy and home heat hacks. And this keeps out that draft. That, that keeps out the draft. And I suggest that everyone does this in all their uh, outlets. You can put these inexpensive socket sealers under each outlet. What you want to focus on around this time of year is what is, what is actually a term called air sealing. Make sure your attic and basement are insulated, then look for other cracks to caulk. You also want to be sure that the area around your windows and doors has been properly sealed with caulk and insulation. You can also try to take the casing off around your door to check and see if it's properly insulated and turn down your hot water heater. It should not be set over 120 degrees. Besides turning down your hot water tank, you said the furnace should be looked at. One thing that is highly recommended is, is that people get their furnaces and boilers cleaned and tuned. And a dirty air filter can reduce airflow by 35%. So change your furnace filter every 30 to 45 days. Turn down your thermostat a few degrees, wear warmer clothes and use more blankets. The outer door is weather stripped. John Gay recently added weather stripping and LED lights to save on gas and electricity in his North Kenwood home. I'm going to say 30% because people are floored when I tell them our electric bill is like 150 bucks a month for a total 7,000 square foot place. Look for items plugged in which you aren't using, like unused phone chargers or appliances. Then unplug those vampire power suckers. If you're behind on bills, you'll also get a break. Statewide, the vast majority of utilities like ComEd and People's Gas will enroll you in a program and keep your service in place. But you can't ignore unpaid bills. People need to reach out, yes. right? They have to contact us. And then the other thing people can do, Jason, is just conserve energy. And we have an energy efficiency program called the Home Jumpstart. So people can sign up for an audit or an assessment at our website. Illinois Legal Aid Online says in October and November alone, utility resources and financial assistance has been used by 9,000 people, averaging 1,230 people a week. Folks are mainly going to school online in their homes. Um, and so there are, they're spending a lot more time during the day in their homes than, than we have before. There's also a state government program, Help Illinois Families, which offers millions of dollars in energy assistance. It has expanded funding and eligibility with money through the Federal CARES Act. The Help Illinois Families program has helped more than 100,000 households so far. There's still $170 million in funding left, and the group says it's taking applications and making payments through May. For more information on this program and others, and if you want to see more tips on energy savings, go to our website, abc7chicago.com. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.